Or actually getting a very good start. A few position changes further back. I think Crystal's dropping down a few positions. But further out in front, we've got, yeah, just, just losing out at that race start. Lof actually losing positions in, in that very tight section, turn one, two, three, I, I already said. It's, it's very tight there, you can lose and gain. Both the Ferraris actually getting very good race starts. Sakhinita's in five and Jen is now in six, still fighting for position here in the stadium section. Uh, but the other Aston Martin P8, Azaken, our championship leader, actually moving up, or at least now getting back onto the chase for P1. Our game are making a run here. On the Bellic, I think he has got the job done through there. So, very good job there. Weasel up now to go on board with. Oh, Loft Loft pretty, diving oh, on there it is. Oh, and he spun. Ah, that was a bit too much of a dive there, I think. A bit too much risk he's taking. Oh, and he's going across the track. He's actually going down the order now. Yeah, he's off track. And he's lost his wing as well. After such a great uh, start to the race, didn't it? Sorry, I'm trying to catch that car right now, the McLaren. There it is. It so need to happen because Fox is on a different strategy. Remember to Joel. Joel is on the soft tires. And, well, oh, we're actually seeing some bumping here, I think. Loft just yeah. pushing Joel along. He really wants to get a... Really wants and Adizzi's uh, a part of this party, and I'll go on board with Adizzi. Oh, so keep and there's a safety car. car. Full safety car. Yep. Jozo's crashed. I think we can see oh, from Ace yeah, Boy. Where is it? There it is, right there. It's the last section of the track, yeah. We've we've seen that happen in qualifying as so well. So what else? Is anybody else? the opposite, though. Yeah. And Jagu as well. Jen is staying out, the other Ferrari's pulling into the pits, so they're not double stacking here. Mercedes is double stacking with Crystal's out. What? Huh? Has he lost what it in the same do? area underneath the grandstand? He's lost it in exactly yes. the same place under the safety car. Oh no, Crystal. Crystal, oh, what are you doing? Stars. Ready to go for the restart. And he's Jen off. is right behind him. He's, he's sneaking up on him. So Edge definitely waiting, and now he's gone. He's caught out Janice actually. He's got Janice got a lot of wheel spin there, so he wants he gets overtaken here. But yeah, he's holding position, going defensive, um, and every, everything stays the same out in front. Oh, actually, Nebulatic struggling a bit there with his tires. Uh, Joel and Lof now on the on the attack behind him. Hudim actually trying to take a position here. I think he spun somewhere. Nebulatic now actually losing out to oh to somebody. Yeah, Joel taking that P4 on the soft tires. So we see the. Oh, yeah, Loft taking, taking the aggressive line here, taking the outside on those softs. At the front of the race at the moment, but yeah, still in the midfield. A lot of action going on there. There's Nleptic and Jagu, a uh, two for nail here in Mexico. Yeah, Dutch, so love we, it. Different strategy. Go ahead. We are seeing So those guys who just pitted for some fresh tires, yeah, they, they, they were leading the race, um, apart from Edge, of course, who didn't pit yet. Um, but yeah, Hudim and Azaken already working their way back up, and Jagu as well on the hearts, uh, while some other guys are just being reached through towards the pass um, with as much overspeed as he has. And he just breezes past. Uh, same actually for Sakhinidis in V11, so he's past Larsen. Lar Larsen really struggling with those old tires, that's fun, I think. Oh, and he's done the same! He's retired! Oh, I think he retired on track, that's not, that's not too good. Let's hope this doesn't cause a safety car here. Maybe he's... They are absolutely fantastic. Both on the hard tires, but obviously some Jagu's about half the tire difference between there. Yeah, and Jagu has, of course, also shown his pace and quality. And Daisy making as, as much use of that slipstream as he can. He's gaining very slowly to here, but he's, he's looking towards that inside, not quite deciding to go for the move. Uh, he's going to try again in the next year, so I'm sure. Sakhinita is also in some pits now. And just boxing. Yeah. But yeah, Galileo actually on the back of Sakhinita now, so Sakhinita is actually losing up quite hard here. Uh, Galileo now on the attack with the DRS, should be pretty easy again. He's got a lot of overspeed, doesn't even need to do that. Yes. does. Yep, he has to. 55%. I would have thought he would be able to do one lap more, perhaps, because he had some pretty good boots there, but... I, I think he could have, but the softs are going to make it to the end of the down the Aston Martin, but no DRS, of course, are available for the out. Alfa Romeo, but it's going to be a little bit too far back. Oh, even we've that lost was the Fox. close, though. Oh, we've lost the car. We've lost the Fox. Now I'm trying to see where the Fox is I currently think parked. That was in the pit lane. It is a pit lane retirement. You're right. That's but further back, down is a run. Time. There is a run for the leader of this race. This is Eakin here, side by side. Oh, Hooden breaking a bit later. He's keeping that inside line here for those next corners. It's not enough, though, as they can just go and pass here. Yeah, with Edge pulling away even more. Oh, Ace Boy. Yeah, you should see Ace, Ace Boy in a second. Ace Boy's out of the race. He's hit the wall in the S's. Yeah, uh, can't see. There he is. There's Ace Boy. Full safety car. 
Yeah, I think that. Oh, that's gonna give a free pit stop. Dagu on those hearts, taking that different strategy. Yeah, he he always wanted to stay out till the end of the race. Edge as well. Uh, only three last. Sitting time. target, but thirty-seven percent. So definitely has to look at taking them oh, to the end of the race. Janice? Oh, Janus managed to spin in the S's. Oh no. Ah, that's a lot of positions lost there. Yeah, so. We have a lot of quick drivers here actually spinning under a safety car. I think that's the third time this race. That's the oh, it's almost spinning there as he gets on the throttle. So almost caught out by Jago there. We're seeing some position changes actually already. Uh, we've got Hudim right behind his egg and Hudim using all of his battery to try and get past here. Uh, it is really benefiting now. here. But uh, it is actually losing positions really hard here. Everybody's next to each other. Daisy probably lost a bit too much time in that last corner and just wasn't fast enough in the straight. Jago keeping that lead for now on those hard tires. Uh, but yeah, Daisy really losing out here. Really and the oh, he's almost pushing Joel around here. He's He's gone around him and off he goes. And now Galileo is going to be the next one to attack Joel. Actually going for a bit of a dive here, but Joel just breaking late enough to keep that position. For that position, but actually, it's really close for P7 and 8. We've got Galileo right behind Joel here, Galileo right next to him, and right now, so it's gonna be a daisy. Ooh, taking the inside on Sachinidis there out of the last corner, that's interesting. And he's just gone past already, that looked so easy from him there, but yeah, wonderful move. But now, Sachinidis with the slipstream, and he's gonna have a to go, yeah. And our championship leader is also gonna size up Sir Jagu anytime soon. He's like, You might be knighted, yeah, so my friend, but. I'm a quicker car. Well, I have better tires. So, so Jagu right there, we'll, we, you can pretty much see that he's... He didn't box, but 13% front left wing damage. You can see that on the screen. There's not a lot. It's a lime green damage, but around Mexico, uh, I don't know. For him, oh, back. is Aiken going for a P2 now? Jagu is going to be... T4. Is Aiken taking that outside? He's not going to back out. There's a lot of wheel banging. Oh, and is Aiken really struggling there. And now it's going to give Putin the chance to go past. Hudem and Azek, and those two guys have to be battling for a pretty much the whole race now. And both he of doesn't have those penalties, so he could snatch oh, up a lot of these places later. Of time. Yeah, he's gonna I, be... I, I, think, I, I think he's just losing too much time in those S's, especially with the DRS zone right behind those. Um, he's gonna... Daisy's going to be really mad at this. He, he had a really good chance to... Sajago about to lose another one. There. About to lose another one, another sitting target there. Simply yeah, because Zaken of the tires. Yeah, does stick this time. And he, uh, uh, Zaken is going to have the DRS as well. Fresh boots thing. and get on with it. Otherwise, you don't want to be stuck behind. Oh, Edge going very wide here. Oh, that's going to allow uh, Zaken to get a chance here. Yeah, Edge going, is also pushing to take a position here. Uh, Edge doesn't have a lot of battery left. So Zaken does have a pretty easy attack here. And Edge does have to slot in behind. So Edge losing a position now. Zaken is up into P1. Oh, Toto Wolf oh. just slammed the desk. Toto has smashed the desk. The Mercedes garage. Who didn't get the penalty? Five what is seconds. going on? He's right Why behind his Aiken now, so... Yeah, you know, I mean... He's going to be battling it out. Oh, oh and Zachinita spins. Yeah, there he is oh. right up ahead. I'm on board with Hadizzi. He's on the middle of the track, too. How did he do that? He's be looking for a podium here. So it ain't over yet. That's why you commit. Let's go. Dago going very slowly oh. here. Just oh, Galileo's hit the wall. <laughs> what was that? Was he trying to go on the pit Galileo's lane? I'm not quite sure. Galileo's as well. Those two guys without penalties. They can get a good position here if they can overtake him. And Edge now past Dago already. Those so fresh soft steps. Joel's going to breeze past. And then it's going to be a Zake and the next one waiting to get past. And he might actually do it on this trade as well. If he takes the inside line here, he has a chance of getting past. He's got it. And maybe even uh, our championship leader as well. Azekin. Azekin going to get this too. Mentioned the penalties earlier. I've seen a really weird five second penalty. The lost Loft. So I think that might get removed at the end of the race. And Loft has got around. You might be right, exactly. But at the moment, the drivers, like, you can't focus on that. You have to focus on whatever's next to your name. That's what I've always said. The driver. Yeah, both of those guys now getting ready to get past Jagu. And one of them's passed already. So Daisy now has to get past as quickly as he possibly can and be there without a penalty. If he can get past Joel quickly, then that might, might be a race win for him. And Desi got it done. As to be the one who's who is really fighting here on track today. And there's another overtake. Him, yeah. Two right oh. behind Edge now. Getting this smacked is... on. Uh, take a look at Edge and Hudim on in P1 and 2. Hudim has a lot of battery left right now, and he has the DRS assistance on the next straight. So he might be able to just gain enough on Edge here to do a bit of a dive here onto the inside. He's definitely looking to the inside. Not. Adizi's four point one. 
That'll be the battle, I think, between those two gladiators. That'll be the absolute oh, key. Oh, Hoodim going for the move. Hoodim's taking the inside down towards turn one, and he has the DRS on the next trade as well. So that is the move. And Azaken gets past Joel as well. Joel going to so hold up Adesi right now to perhaps deny Adesi for a race win and allow Azaken just to run away with his one. Well, Joel is not going to have the DRS for this next trade, but Adesi will. So yeah, that's, that's his going chance. for the lead of the race again. He just took the inside on Hoodim there. So the yeah. de facto lead of the race has changed actually in this last lap. Uh, we'll have to see what it does to the actual yeah. result. But now they're going to they're both going to drop down both uh, Edge and Hoodem with a lot of penalties. Edge down to P3, Hoodem down to P5, P6 actually. As well, too, from these gladiators, they had three pit stops. The top two guys, and the other two guys behind them only had two. Shave that yeah, champagne, mate. He, he just.